Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan. You just d- dropped the last name. Farach. Farach, all right, yeah. Um, we are here to do some pretty cool stuff, actually. Uh, we are here to talk about, uh, ready, the top five, I want to make sure I get it right, the top five comic events to date. Marvel and DC. Marvel and DC only, okay? So... What does this mean? This means, okay, it could be Crisis of Infinite Earth, but at the same time, it could be something more niche, like, let's say, um, 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 it, basically... It Death just, of the Family. Death of the Family, yes. It has to cross over multiple titles. It can't be, like, one thing. So you can't pick, like, you know, Zero Year Batman, because that was just a story that went just across the one Batman title. It has to go over multiple titles yeah. or it has to, or it has to be an epic event that involves a ton of characters. Um, like um, like I said, Crisis of Infinite Earths involved multiple characters but it didn't really tie into the actual solo books. It, sure. it was its own standalone thing. So, and, uh, uh, in the interest of time and in the interest of not picking the same answers and having a bigger debate, we're cutting the top 10 down to a top 5. Top five. Top no five. Mentions. Top five. No honorable mentions. We're going balls deep with the five right here, and 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 to make it tough, to make it uh, to fierce, and uh, top five Marvel DC comic events to date, starting right now. Wonski, what do you got? I like to give an honorable mention. No, I thought we're doing no, honorable I'm mention. You, oh, I was gonna say you fuck. My number five is, uh, believe it or not. Oh it's God. A, it's a new. Event. Oh wow! Okay, that's all right. There's, there's new, there, I, dude. I, I came close to saying Secret it's, Empire. It's uh, Secret Wars. Oh, that was so good. I forgot so, about that. I might have to change something. <laughs> there's a big one of my big reasons for Secret Wars is because the new Secret Wars, ladies and gentlemen, Wars, not the yeah. old I'm not Secret Wars. About the Secret old Wars, Wars too, which, the which is one. fine, but it was like whatever. Hickman was in charge of writing Secret Wars, and this started out in New Avengers and Avengers, and oh I'm going God. all the way back to then. Like, you could have just read Secret Wars, but you wouldn't have gotten the full experience if you didn't read the New Avengers run by Hickman and the Avengers run, Agreed. which were Avengers, fantastic. Avengers. The, the Avengers wasn't as good. Yeah. But the New Avengers was amazing. So, all the way through, yeah. all the way, all the way up until... All the way up until Infinity. Right, right. Yeah, all the Af- way up until Infinity. After Infinity... New it Avengers was sucked. Um, but they had great storylines with the Illuminati, uh, what they did to Amazing. Captain America, the Amazing. Namor Black Panther battle. Amazing. Like, it was great. Amazing. You had the anti, the, the cabal, the anti illuminati Amazing. Cabal. And, uh, and it was it was a great story. It was about worlds that were g- colliding, like the... Uh, and the multiverse was shrinking. The multiverse was shrinking. Yes. And so the Illuminati, led by Reed Richards... Um, basically, was they were just was Reed, Black Panther, Tony Stark, uh, Beast, Beast was in there, right? Namor, Black Panther, you named him right. Namor, Namor too, yeah, Cap, yeah. yeah. And so basically, they were and Namor and Black worlds. Panther hated each other because yeah. in Avengers vs X Men, when Namor had the Phoenix Force in him, which is a stupid fucking story, yeah, uh, he blew up Wakanda, right? So in Secret Wars, um, it, it's basically Doctor Doom becomes God. Over these these sections of the planet battle, it's the battle worlds, and it's an awesome story. Um, and, and we saw Doom without his mask. Yeah, yeah. Doom and his face his was mask. fucked up right. for real. He had no nose. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was very Michael Jackson esque. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and and friggin' um, Doctor Strange w- was part of it. Doctor Strange could yeah. have been God, but yeah. he forfeited it and right. became like right hand to Doom. Yeah. And and Doom killed him. Yeah. There was a lot of really awesome moments. And Doom was married or or had Sue Storm mm-hmm. or Sue Richards, however you want to look at yeah. it, as wife and, with yeah. Franklin and Valer- kids, Valerie or Valeria nuts. as as Crazy. like his children. Um and the and, and Ben Grimm worked for him too. Yeah. And Reed was nowhere to be found. Nowhere, right. He was like lost and, in and the you know the wall this, this event which, the wall yeah, the which wall was, was yeah. the shield. That was great. You even know? even the little like storylines like with the uh, Modoc. 
Yes, Mordok like, was had great. Had a five part series. Yeah. which was like the assassin, and, 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 and he was just trying to capture the love of Angela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was awesome because he's like, "Oh my God, you're amazing! Like all you do yeah. is kill things." You're, well, you're, you're, Secret Wars is responsible also. It's the end. The, of the Red Ultimate Skull universe. story. Mm -hmm. Who was he? Was part of the 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 resistance against right. Doom? Uh, it. it uh, the Marvel zombies and the Ultron Marvel people were outside the, the wall. The, oh, that was yeah, that was yeah. Crazy. Because if they went in, they would take over right. everything, and it was up to the wall, the shield, yeah. to protect yeah. from the zombies right. and the Ultrons. Right. And then the Ultrons and zombies combined forces to like it. It was fucking. amazing. Like, um, that series was responsible for the end of the Ultimate Universe. Um. That was actually, one of the actually Cataclysm was, but kind of right, into that. Right. Yes, but you know, spoilers if you didn't know, mm -hmm. uh, the Ultimate Universe is back. Right. Yeah. Hence the result of Spider Man Two. Right. Um, which I don't know how they're going to do that because they killed a shit ton of them. I'm not cool with it. I think they should have just left it. You know what? Like, I I love the Ultimate Universe, so I I'm signed up. No, that's fine. But like, I think that Hickman did Marvel a huge favor with Secret Wars. They could have kept going, and it would have been amazing. But Marvel, it's almost like they erased everything Hickman did for the past two years leading up to Secret Wars. But uh, already, I know it's fresh, but already uh, in my top five. Uh, no, it's great, and and you know what they 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 did the Fantastic Four right because yeah. Marvel canceled the Fantastic Four due to the whole Fox movie thing, uh, or allegedly they never a actually physically came out and said that, but we all know what the fuck is up. But they didn't like just cancel it or, like pretend they didn't exist. They gave them purpose. Uh, not only did Ben go join Guardians of the Galaxy and Johnny went to go be part of the Inhumans, which is whatever, but Sue Reed and the kids were left in charge. They were actually the gods because that's how it ended. Doom admitted that Reed was better than him. Right. Um, which put Doom, uh, which put Reed in the position Doom was in and Reed used that power to recreate the multiverse. Right. So this whole time since Secret Wars, Reed has been in charge of rebuilding the multiverse. Right. And we will see him again. They're hinting at a hard fucking yeah. core, uh, which is great. Good, good, good pull. Good pull. Uh, my number five, um, this is a little more nostalgic for me. I know a lot of people will be like, what the fuck? But I don't, you're going to be like, what the fuck? But I don't care. It is the death, the reign, and the return of Superman. Terrible. Um, listen, first of all, um, this story uh, was groundbreaking for its time. The fact that they were killing Superman is the first time that, that any big publisher really killed a really big character. And, uh, I and Dan Jurgens was in charge of the whole thing. Dan Jurgens was in charge of it. And he's still... Dan Jurgens is Mr. Superman. He still yeah. writes, writes action comics to this day. Uh, and and uh, the downside to it is that DC just printed way too many, and the whole storyline is not worth a lot of money at all. So from a value standpoint, it's whatever. But as far as the story, first of all, uh, the character Doomsday still resonates today. He pops up all the time. He's super yeah. powerful. Mm -hmm. He's one of he's one of the few threats that can really hurt Superman. And... Uh, the it, I think it was a six or seven issue series uh, that ca cut across various Superman titles and Justice League America, and uh, it it was an all out brawl. It really was mm -hmm. like it was just a fucking. It was like watching that Family Guy episode with with Peter and the chicken because Doomsday and Superman just went fucking yeah. toe to toe and like and and not only did Dan Jurgens uh, write it but I think he drew it as well. He was the artist as well, mm -hmm. and the art was great. It really was that iconic. I mean, it feels dated, though. Of course, it feels like dated. Like when you read it, though, it's just. I mean, listen. You read Infinity Gauntlet. That's dated. You read mm -hmm. fucking, you know, uh, Nightfall. It's dated. You read. Plus, they had Guy Gardner. And the old Secret with Wars. Guy Gardner's. That, that's not true. Guy Gardner's in the Green Lantern Corps books, and and he's great. He's terrible. Fuck you. Anyways, um, and and then you know the reign of the Superman. That's really where I thought that story shined. That's actually a um, good part. Yeah. With the Cyborg Superman. Cyborg Superman was awesome. To date, one of my favorite villains ever. Uh, the Cyborg Superman, the Eradicator. Eradicator is uh, amazing. Steel was introduced. Yeah, Steel. Uh, John that. Henry Irons, which right. is great. And and then Superboy. Superboy was awesome. In yeah. Uh, it, it, the reign of the Superman is really where it shined. Mongol came down and just fucking atomized Coast City, Green Lantern's home. Which led to Green Lantern going batshit crazy, hence Parallax, yeah. which was another great fucking thing. And 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 then like Superman comes back in the black costume, it, his return was kind of whatever. He's in a yeah. cocoon, whatever. Well, whatever. We'll put that aside. But he comes up and like literally kicks the shit out of the cyborg Superman, like right. rips him to shreds, you know. And it's like, wow, this is wow. Like yeah, Eradicator was my favorite though. He was great. Uh, cyborg was for me, yeah. the cyborg Superman. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it, it's a great story. Uh, 
you could another thing great about it is is you could be a kid or you can be an adult and read it and probably be entertained by it and there's not many comic books nowadays that that do that job Mm -hmm. you know so uh you know it's a it's a good thing to break people break kids in especially too uh as long as they won't get traumatized by the fact that superman just died um but yeah death uh reign and return to superman is my number five your number four my number four is a batman story no man's land fabulous um if you're welcome by the way no (laughs) steve recommended it to me um no man's land is basically uh that that movie with Kurt Russell, Snake Plissken, Escape from L.A., Escape from uh, Escape from New York, but, but way but better with uh, way better. Yeah, it's better, but it's Batman instead of Snake. Yeah, and and Batman doesn't even pop up for like the yeah, first six while. months. Basically, like, Gotham's it, been divided up with all the villains. It's become a no man's land. The government has basically blown the bridges, it. blown the tunnels. Yeah, you can't get in, can't get out because of the the results of uh, um, the the earthquake. Right, because there was a giant ba- earthquake. Yeah. It basically destroyed the city. Right. So the city is divided up by all the major villains, and it's Batman. Like Burroughs. After being yeah. gone for for years, uh, he returns, uh, sees what the bitty, and, and it's it's about him reclaiming the city. Yeah, and 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 uh, it, it it's amazing. You know, Penguin runs the black market, yeah, of right, course, right. as he would. The Joker, of course, is in it, and he blow he kills Commissioner Gordon's, right. you know, fucking fiance. Spoilers. Um, uh, Batgirl plays an integral, or should I say, uh, not what Oracle? She uh-huh, was Oracle, Oracle, which I think Barbara Gordon is way better as Oracle than yeah, Batgirl, yeah. but whatever. Because and, and uh, we're introduced to the new Batgirl, which was Cassandra, was it, yeah, Kane's daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with with the no mask. Awesome, and, she's awesome. Awesome, uh, great story. The, the one of the issues that really stick out for me, I forget what the issue is, and I apologize, but uh, it was a solo story. It didn't even involve any of the heroes. It, it was more about a guy that ran a gas station, like the last gas station. Yeah, yeah, the last. And, yeah, and and and, and he was de- yeah. he was defending it, and it was a one one issue only. And and he ends up losing it. The gas station blows up and yeah. stuff like that. But I was like, this is a great like fucking standalone one shot like yeah. just you know story that just really gives an idea of what life is like on No Man's Land for the average person. Now the the only thing I can criticize about it is uh, some of the changes in art are a little jarring because it wasn't just similar art styles. We're talking about it would change from like realistic to like super cartoony absolutely yeah and that was a yeah. little bit off-putting but if you can look beyond that the story is fantastic and and uh this went on for a year too this yeah. was a very bold move by dc to make all their batman books dedicated to this and and the end result was lex Luthor came in and invested heavily in gotham saved the day and yeah, cities open for busy. yeah all right good great number four uh, my number four is uh, the same thing, actually. So we don't even need to talk about it. Uh, my number four is No Man's Land uh, from the Bat Books because it's fucking great. You need to watch it. Uh, and, and not watch it, read it. Number three. My number three is um, Flashpoint. Another good pull. Another good I one. I mean, um, my number two and my number one are Marvel. This is the last I'm going to see have DC there. So um, I say that because I, I, wanna, that I, I believe that Flashpoint is probably the best story dc ever wrote um the consequences are further reaching than anything they've ever done great um, it's so popular that even now we they try to do flashpoint in the tv show they're trying to make a movie about flashpoint and they made I, a cartoon movie yeah i love time travel stories so it's not only time travel it's alternate realities alternate realities that's created and questions about it and yeah. it's a flash centric story it um, is it's, it's rushed issues. it's rushed at yeah. the end yeah it if is it a, wasn't so rushed you know like like but like it would be better regarded, the, I think. My, my it it could have easily been a six, seven issue series. It, it should have been. It Instead, been. it was five. It, it should have been. The crossovers were even. The crossovers were great. Crossovers. That's the, what the made Batman, it. The Batman. The Batman. Right. That's was that was that your favorite. No. Really. No, my favorite was uh, the the uh, Aquaman and Wonder Woman stuff. Okay. Because yeah. oh yeah, they were. It, it was basically you know um, the Amazons versus the Atlanteans, right? And that's why the world was to shit yes you know what I mean because Aquaman put a fucking tidal wave on everyone it showed how powerful Aquaman yeah. is right? this is I, the first time in Flashpoint where yeah. Aquaman got a little respect yeah this was uh, way before Jeff Johns got a hold of him and, and just killed everyone yeah. and and uh, it, and Diana and the Amazons were, were going toe to toe because I think I, I think Aquaman did the thing because the Amazons killed Mera or mm-hmm. something was that what it was 
I don't remember. I, I forget what, what 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 pushed it over the edge, but it, but but that was great. The Superman story was great. Mm-hmm. You know the fact that he, he you know he crashed, but the government got a hold of him. Yeah, not Mom, Pa, Ken. Right, and they put him in a fucking bunker yeah. without the sun, so he's got no fucking powers right. whatsoever. He's just a little weak fucking human being. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he, he, um, t- Hal Jordan was just a he was a pilot. Yeah, and he died. Yeah. Fight being a fighter pilot, right? Like that's all he was. That's all he was. It, it was. It, it was. It was so good. The Batman one was great too. Of Thomas Wayne. Yeah, it's Thomas Wayne as a Batman. Thomas Wayne as a Batman. Like shit, you can't. I mean, still now that like it's it's basically that that's still like was a running thing till recently. They the still talk about and and the Earth Two books, which were yeah. fabulous. That Earth Two is probably one of my favorite series in, from DC in the last like five years. Kudos to Tom Earth Taylor, who also writes amazing. Injustice. Amazing, amazing. Earth Two is yeah. amazing. Earth Two is amazing. So all that stuff we get out of Flashpoint, I think it's. Still, you could you should read it now before the movie comes out. And, yeah, uh, it's it's an awesome exploration. Of, it's a, the best what ifs I've ever seen done. Very good, very good. It, and it's it, you know it's it's one of the few books that made it, that made me cry. Actually, it's the first book that ever made yeah, me cry. No, it was like at the end when 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 Flash gives Bruce the letter from his father. Yeah, and you saw Bruce just like kind of like topple over. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. You know, like first time I ever like teared up for for a comic book, yeah. and I'm like, fucking god! I was on an airplane. I remember. Yeah. And I'm sitting next to some fucking stranger, and I'm like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. By the way, airplanes are great times to catch up on reading. Yeah. Um, good, good pull, good pull. My number three is uh the same thing. <laughs> it's Flashpoint. <laughs> Flashpoint is my number three, and and you know I'm curious because my number two and one are Marvel, as well. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking crazy. Uh- so listen, the reason why Flashpoint isn't bumped up higher, like I, I, I said uh, earlier, is uh, it was rushed. It really was rushed. The ending could have been dragged out a little more, and 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 uh, just felt a little rushed. So, but great, great story. Number three, Flashpoint. I'm guessing my number two is probably your number one. Go. My number two is the Age of Apocalypse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? So the Age of, of Apocalypse is. Um, Batsy just arrived. Kids. It's an X Men story. And let me tell you guys, I believe that uh, X-Men are my favorite. From Marvel, I love the X-Men. X-Men have the best stories. They have the most forward-thinking stories. Stop. I've been reading X-Men since fucking Jim Lee back in the day with X-Men number one. Right. In like 91, 92. And yes, I agree with you. X-Men is great. But from like 2000 to like... No, no, not to this, now. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Like they, uh, with the exception of like Messiah Complex and some right. other things here and there, they it, they've been kind of like. But back little. in the from the eighties forward to the, the the first like twenty years of X Men no, of of that X Men. X Men's great. Right? Um, yeah. like these, if you they they've done so much stuff that's relevant today, like almost predictive, right? Yeah. And uh, Age of Apocalypse, they took um, it's a storyline where Legion, which is uh, Professor X's son. Right, um, which is Legion Quest, the book prior right. to. You have to read that before you read Age of Apocalypse. It basically what ends up happening in 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 Age of Apocalypse. You're going to see an alternate dimension. Professor X is dead. Uh, Magneto's leading, killed by his son. Spoilers by, his, by the son, which is why I mentioned him. Um, that'd be great if they did some crazy shit now, like Age of Apocalypse, since you know the Legion TV shows on there. They won't go on. Um, but anyway, so like Magneto leads a resistance. Um, I believe he's with Rogue in the comics. Um, yeah, he's dating Rogue, and he's able to touch Rogue yeah, he's because of his Rogue, magne- right. magnetism. And uh, But what's really cool is what they did with a lot of the characters. Like, Beast was insane. Mad scientist. Yeah, Cyclops and his brother. Evil. Were evil. Even like, though Cyclops turned at the right, end. But whatever. X-Man, which was Cable. Yeah, X-Man, right. But he never got oh, the techno. So good. He never got the techno virus, right. so he was the most powerful person. He's, right. the, he's the one that actually ended up like saving the day at the end. Yeah. Like no. I mean, Magneto fought Apocalypse at the end, right? But, but X Man was like, yeah, and obviously yeah. Apocalypse is the one that that he wins, right? He's the one that leads. The Beast stuff is the craziest stuff, just because he was like some weird Nazi doctor, yeah. Like shit that you hear about, like the Nazi doctors that do experiments. That was Beast, and that was crazy to me. Um, uh, they took all the telepaths mm-hmm. and and anyone with mind powers and they they killed them all but took their brains mm-hmm. and put them in like jars. Right. And like were controlling yeah. them like that. It was it was it's a great story. Although I, I I didn't like Wolverine was missing hand. That made no sense. I didn't even remember that. He had no hand. Forge was great too. I liked Forge. Forge was great. He was in the, yeah. he was in the X-Man book yeah. and he got killed yeah. he was, on their little yeah, like pilgrimage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sunspot and, and, and that's what made X-Man be like 
Yo, I need to also, you know, mentioning Sunspot, they did a lot of costume changes. Yeah, in Age of Apocalypse. Oh, and, everyone and was changed. Fantastic. Everyone was changed. Yeah, that's where Joe Madura really got his start yeah. and his fame right. too, because he he was the main the main guy on that. And uh, Gambit and the Externals, they went to go get the Emcron Crystal from yeah. the Shi'ar Empire, right. which would help reset reality. Bishop was in it. He was the only one that remembered Professor Xavier in right. the past because he's a time traveler. Right. Yeah, and and. Uh, and yeah, it was, it was good. It's cool. I think it did a lot for like Cable. Did a lot for Bishop too. Or something you know. Um, it was just it, it was one of the out of all the X Men stories I read. I guess it was the most complete, well rounded, the best cast of characters, and and it was like it was real. Like people died because I guess since it was a what if they knew they could reset, so people died, and it was traumatic. And like even the story with Scott and his, it was great. All right, all right. Uh, my number two is Age of Apocalypse. <laughs> I'm not even making it up. My number two is Age of Apocalypse for everything Wonski just said. But but on top of that, what what he failed to, uh, to talk about was Holocaust, which was the son of um, Apocalypse, who was evil as fuck. Yeah. And they changed his name to like Nemesis now because I guess people got offended by the word Holocaust. Holocaust is a real, real world word in the dictionary, and we shouldn't be offended by that it word. It actually happened. And yeah, and and that that's what he did. I mean, the, I get it, word association, but come on, you know, yeah. it, it, it. But uh, he was a crazy character. Um, it, it it and uh, Dark Beast, like you said, was amazing. Um, Who were the 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 horsemen for uh, for Apocalypse in this one? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm having. I had. I was trying to think of it. I don't remember. I just got the omnibus of it, and I like. I almost want to reread it again. Yeah, you know, wasn't Wolverine one? No, 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 no that was a different story. Um, yeah. But it, 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 so yeah, Holocaust was just like amazing. Dark Beast was uh, all, Mr. Sinister, which we forgot Sinister, to mention. Sinister, yeah. Who, 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 who was like like trying to like overthrow Apocalypse and do right. some really shady yeah. like underground that was shit. Great. Um, and again, this is you know we said No Man's Land was bold of DC to do because it it um, it stopped all the bat books into this right. Marvel did this before No Man's Land, and this was a huge move on Marvel's head. They halted production of every single X-Men title they had. Uncanny X-Men, X-Men, Excalibur, Cable, mm -hmm. all of it was just stopped. Yeah. Wherever the story was, they stopped. Yeah. And they just launched a totally new series, Sabretooth and Wild Child. Yeah. You know? Morph. Yeah. Was, uh, Blink. Was huge of this too. That's where we really got the low blink. Yeah. You know, but to do that and like, what a gamble, what a payoff. And, you know, another kudos to the X Men books is like a lot like, like what Juan was saying about Secret Wars, where we get out of Secret Wars and Marvel dropped the ball and didn't keep going on the roll. X Men kept it going because immediately following Secret, um, Age of, Age of Apocalypse, um, we start seeing like weird shit happening in the X Verse. Come to find out. It's Traitor Xavier, aka Onslaught. Yeah, and so like we went right in the Onslaught. I, they just they did not miss a beat. Um, Scott Lobdell has a lot to do with this as right. well, uh, and, and uh, just it, it, it really really great things happening. It, it's something that. that I wish that these you know movies that they would stop doing with the movies is naming these events after these comic events, and then them because. When you go in to see X Men: Age of Apocalypse, it's it's destined to fail, right? Because you're going in hyped over one of the greatest X Men stories ever told. Well, it was X Men Apocalypse? Like it. Yeah, it was an Age of Apocalypse. Yeah, but but you Apocalypse. Know. yeah, you know what it is? It, it, it you can't do an Age of Apocalypse movie in two hours. You can't do it in three no, hours. No, no, you couldn't. You couldn't. You know, it needs to be something that is built up over the course of multiple movies. Right. Um, kind of like what they're doing with Infinity War, to be honest. Yeah. We'll see um, how that turns out. Yeah. So. Anyways, uh, yeah, good, good pull. What's your number one? My number one is Civil War, the original. Tell me it's different. Mine is different. Oh, thank God. I, you know what? I, I, yeah, Civil War is not even in my top ten. Um, I put in Civil War. Civil War was such a huge event that it was like in the news. Like everyone, non-comic fans, and at this time I wasn't reading comics. Um, and when Civil War came out, I started reading comics. And it was just a ton of stuff happened in Civil War. First of all, I love the reason, that, you know, like what we like kind of creeps into our choices. And the reason that I love it so much is just the story. Basically, the government, you know, it's privacy versus, you know, uh, how much gov the government has input into into our lives. And 
what ended up happening is you had the government said there was the, the government was basically registering mutants because there was a huge fight. A town got destroyed. School kids got killed by some ridiculous fight. Um, so the government started having mutants, uh, not mutants, superheroes register their secret identities, right? Um, this group was led by Iron Man, right? And then the resistance, believe it or not, was led by Captain America. Kind of like the in, movie. Kind of like the movie. Yeah. Um, what's great about this book is there's like some, some crazy moments. So Spider-Man unmasking was huge. And, uh, but their their excuse for like Doctor Strange like putting a spell over everyone so they forget right. that was dumb. Yeah, that on. was dumb. But they unmasked him in that, and uh, and then the the biggest part of Civil War was the assassination of uh, of Captain America. That wasn't in, that wasn't in Civil War. That was in the Captain America book post Civil War. Yeah, I I include it. I don't. You have to include it. No, I don't. Well, I include it because because you know what? Because it wasn't it, it was it was the Red Skull that did it. Mm. You know who who made Sharon Carter do it actually right. through Doctor Faustus and and the mm. other guy, and uh, and that led into the whole like you know Bucky becoming Captain, Captain America, America, which was its own story in itself by Brubaker, and it was great. You know you got to give the death of Captain America credit to Brubaker mm. when Mark Mark Miller is is the guy that did Civil War. I'm Mark didn't in, intend for Cap to die. I doubt that. You don't think so? I think that was all Brubaker. Well. I, I think I stand beside. I believe Civil War um, brought a lot of people into comics, and no, it, it, it's good, but but yeah. So there, no, go. nowhere's near my top five. Not even in my top ten. What's your number one? My number one is Ultimatum from Ultimate. Okay, because I never comics got that verse. far. Well, I'm about to spoil the fuck out of it for you, because I gave you, I've given you five years, because we're five years deep to read this story, and you have Ultimate haven't. Universe. By the way, is fantastic. I appreciate it. Listen, the Ultimatum story, if you guys don't know, was written by Jeff Loeb, um, who did Ultimates 3, which sucked. He's also done Long Halloween, which was great. Um, he also did Hush, which was great. Um, so he's had some hits, and he has, he's had some misses as well. Um, he is involved currently in the Marvel TV series, um, both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Netflix shows, I believe. But e either way, uh, you know, Jeff Loeb is a big... A serious force to be reckoned with in the comic sure. verse. He wrote Ultimatum, and I, I loved the story, and I hated it at the same time. But every issue was like a jaw-dropping what the fuck moment. It was only five issues long, if I remember correctly. And I kid you not, like I was, I was hating it because I was seeing all the characters I come to love in the Ultimate Universe die in such really fucked up ways, and. But I loved it because I've never seen anything like that before. And I was like, oh my fucking God. It wasn't until Injustice that I saw more crazy shit happening. But but in, uh, like, basically, like, Magneto finally has it out for everyone and makes his war against the human race, puts a fucking tidal wave on New York City. In that tidal wave, kills fucking Professor X, kills Nightcrawler, kills Colossus, all like in one swim right there. And a bunch of other people that I forget off the top of my head. Um, the blob eats the wasp, huh. and so Giant Man gets uh, gets so you know upset that he like rips the blob to shreds. So what does the Multiple Man do? The Multiple Man straps him, makes makes like hundreds of versions of himself, puts like suicide vests on him, crawls up Giant Man, and blows himself up in turn, blowing up Giant Man. Um, like, um, but the most cr the most crazy stuff to me in it was was when um, Wolverine goes after Magneto. They're on Asteroid M at the end. And Magneto's like, stop. Like, what are you doing? We've played this game before. All the heroes, are for face, all the ones that are left, are facing Magneto here. And, uh, and, and, and they, it doesn't... It, so Wolverine goes after him. Magneto stops him. And then Magneto, like, takes Iron Man and moves his armor... And points it at Wolverine and has Iron Man blow all the flesh off of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing left but the the skull. I mean that the skeleton. Yep. The adamantium skeleton, which then Magneto goes and just eradicates. So Wolverine's dead like that. So everyone's like, What the fuck? And then I forget how they get Magneto down, but Cyclops ends up blowing off Magneto's head with his optics blast. Like you see all this. Wow. And, and Thing crushes Doom's head also. Jesus. Yeah. Like, dead. 
And then on top of that, so at the very this this is what really is fucked up. At the very end, the government and I guess the mutants, because again, it's all going. It, it all comes down to humans against uh, mutants against humans. Yeah, you know because Magneto did that. So Cyclops is on the 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 steps of the Capitol building in Washington D.C. making a speech to everybody. Behind him is Jean Grey, uh, a couple of other X Men, a couple like uh, government officials, and he's making a speech, talking about peace, unity. You know we're better now. We're moving forward. Mid sentence, he takes a bullet through the head. Every panic, everyone freaks out. You see, you see, there's a panel of Jean Grey that 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 goes to like the remaining mutants, like yeah. like let's go, we need to leave now, you know. And they just like leave, and it ended. Wow, like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like the fact that like the fact that like we just saw Wolverine get blown away by Iron Man. Mm. What? The fact that Cyclops fucking blew away Magneto's head with his optic blast. What? It's not, they're not done. Thing crushes Doom's head. What? And just when you thought like it couldn't get any crazier, Cyclops gets fucking assassinated and shot in the head. Right. Awesome. Well. And the sad thing about Ultimatum is, is that it's not available in trade paperback right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, good luck finding the issues to right. collect it. It's a tough find, but it is fucking great. I hope Marvel does. They don't a, have that in issues. No, they That's don't. Insane. They don't. They don't. It, it's fucking amazing. If you have friends that have it, borrow it. It's, it's fucking great. So, uh, recap. Um, I, I could just, I could just do this. You know, uh, the, the, um, my my number five was the Death Return and uh, Reign of Superman. Wonski's number five was Secret Wars. My number four was uh, uh, No Man's Land. Your right, number four. No Man's Land. My number three was Flashpoint. Your number three. Flashpoint. My number two was Age of Apocalypse. Yours. Age of Apocalypse. My number one was Ultimatum. Yours was? Civil War. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. To date, as of right now, the top five Marvel DC events ever to date right there as decided, in our opinion, right here. (coughs) Bless you. Bless you. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we promote reading. Follow us on YouTube at Corker Comics, uh, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics. Uh, you can find us on Pines Boulevard, just east of University, across from Perry Airport in Pembroke Pines, or on 107th and 8th Street, across from FIU in Miami. For Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I am Stephen Corka. And if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to go to either store. We're all pretty well versed in, in any of these storylines. Just come in and ask us. We'll point you to the right direction if you want to read any of the stories that we talked about today. And there's tons of stuff we didn't mention too, by the way. Yeah, you know, the Blackest Night, uh, Revenge of the Sinestro Corps, uh, the Onslaught story, which I briefly talked about. Um, um, uh, Dark Knight Metal right now is happening. That's a big event. Yeah, Dark Knight Metal. Forever great, Evil. Great. Forever Evil was fantastic. Um, you know, uh, e- e- so. But there's a lot of good stories. Uh, just come and ask us. We have a lot of these available. Fatal Attractions. Trades. Most of these we can get in trades, if not outright comics. So. Yeah, World War Hulk, uh, Planet oh, Hulk. That was, yeah, that was you know, uh, yeah, so a lot, lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Uh, yeah, so like I said, for Fat Man, uh, Tom Pop, Fat Man, a little boy, I'm Stephen Gorka. I'm Juan Frotch. All right, later.